It's Saturday night. It's main event. And we are kicking things off with one of the toughest men in the history of pro wrestling, Samoa Joe. Joe receiving a great reception from the fans and this match is the first of a series of matches where the winners will compete in a fatal four-way to crown an SNME champion. And in my books, Joe has to be considered one of the favorites as he's certainly a fan favorite with the SNME crowd here tonight. Joe's opponent is the self-proclaimed Breezus, the model of main event. It's Tyler, Tyler Breeze. Breeze also likes to refer to himself as part man, all model. I'm not entirely sure how being all model is going to help him this evening, but for all the nicknames and Tyler being focused on his looks, Joe must still take Breeze seriously. And as for Tyler, he's going to have to use his speed and quickness if he is to find the victory and evade the muscle buster of Samoa Joe. A quick strike by Joe. He drags Breeze to the corner and a knife edge chop, a second and a third puts down Tyler Breeze. And Joe has come out the gate quickly and I refer to Breeze making sure he used his speed and quickness. But it's Joe who gets things going and Joe puts on the brakes, stopping Tyler Breeze from picking up any counter and takes up and drops Breeze face first into the canvas. Joe sends Breeze across the ring into the corner and Breeze wisely gets the knees up. Oh, and an Inseguri caught Joe. One, no. Not even a one count for Tyler Breeze. Impact move, but oh, speaking of impact, Joe just kicked Breeze's teeth down his throat. Again, great quickness from Samoa Joe, rolling out the way, delivering the big boot. And now it's Joe back in control, driving the forearm to the back, and another. It seems Breeze has only upset Samoa Joe. German suplex. Joe picks up Breeze and credit to Breeze, he keeps fighting. And Tyler Breeze trying to mount an offense and a snap suplex does the job. And Breeze keeping on top, trying to force Joe back. Now driving the knees into the gut of Samoa Joe. And has Breeze found a weakness? He certainly thinks so, and this is the best offense Breeze has had so far in this match. Oh! But as I say that, Samoa Joe comes back with a knee strike. And an exploder suplex to follow. Joe with a jab and sends Breeze tumbling to the outside. Wait a second. Diving forearm strike by Samoa Joe. The crowd enjoying this opener. And Joe not letting up on Breeze. Samoa Joe getting ahead of steam, Samoan Blitz, and here we go. Marcel Buster. A definitive win for Samoa Joe, the first man to book his spot in the fatal four-way for the main event championship. And here is how he got the job done with the Muscle Buster. 
Samoa Joe with a big W. But who will join Joe in that fatal four-way for the SNME Championship? Oh boy, next week, Limitless Keith Lee will be in action. But right now, it's time for your Saturday night main event as Cesaro takes on Ludwig Kaiser. So here is the Swiss strong Cesaro, arguably the most powerful member of the SNME roster. And he'll be looking to utilize all that strength over a very technically sound Ludwig Kaiser to join Samoa Joe in the fatal four-way for the main event championship. And here is Cesaro's opponent, Ludwig Kaiser, who strives for in-ring efficiency as demanded by the ring general, Gunther. And with that efficiency comes a brutal style which makes this week's main event so intriguing. As they tie up, and Ludwig Kaiser gets the better of the first exchange, but the second goes to Cesaro. A knee to the gut. And neither man wanting to give away anything in the opening few seconds but it is Cesaro who uses that power to overpower Ludwig Kaiser. And could that be a key and a running theme throughout this match as Kaiser is sent to the corner and a very European uppercut. Cesaro with another off the top rope this time, adding more impact and an early pin and Kaiser kicks out at one. Kaiser replies with an uppercut of his own and takes up Cesaro, but a float over by Cesaro. And the German suplex. And it's not just the strength and power of Cesaro that you have to watch out for. He is also very quick and nimble. Reversal by Kaiser. But don't count out Ludwig Kaiser. He enjoys nothing more than a fight. As you can see from the European uppercut reply from Ludwig Kaiser. European efficiency being shown. And that was a chopping uppercut to the back of the neck. And Cesaro in trouble. A pin this time by Kaiser. And now a one count for Ludwig Kaiser. Kaiser now going to work in the corner, chops on an Inseguri and Cesaro is all over the place, tangled up in the ropes, oh, and a basement drop kick. That was some nice offense from Kaiser. And expect to see a few things that are different from the style of Kaiser. I mentioned under the tutelage of the ring general Gunther. I'm sure Gunther will be expecting nothing more than a victory from Kaiser. He has high demand. Headbutt by Kaiser. And he tells this crowd to be quiet. Sent to the corner, Cesaro. And it is Kaiser who's picked up control and is holding on to it. Putting the boots to Cesaro. And this is what I mean about the ring efficiency isn't prim and proper, it is brutal. Boot to the gut by Cesaro. Managing to find a reply. Kaiser again. Kick out at just one. Cesaro double underhook and a powerbomb pin. 
Oh! That's the best pinfall we've seen so far. Double foot stomp by Cesaro. And a basement European uppercut. And Kaiser has to be careful. And now Cesaro looking for the crossface. And he's got it locked in. And look at the pressure that Cesaro is applying. Putting all that muscle into that crossface. But Kaiser for a second broke the hold and finds a way to escape and he needed to. He was in trouble. Kaiser goes round the back and a German suplex from Ludwig Kaiser. He is giving just as good as Cesaro is dishing out. Cesaro breaks the hold and a diving European uppercut. And that stuns Ludwig Kaiser. With Kaiser dazed, Cesaro seizes the opportunity. Oh, what's Cesaro looking for? Oh, look at the strength taking Kaiser up and down with the Gorilla Press Slam. And Kaiser's in trouble. UFO! Cesaro neutralizer! Cesaro wins after a back and forth contest, but it is the Swiss strong Cesaro who powers through after a rare sighting of a UFO, followed by a neutralizer. And the ring general, Gunther, with a stare down to close the show.